Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We continue where we left off last time. Um, I think we are going to buy field... What is it? Three. It has uh, canola. It's ready to be harvested. Oh, it's already been harvested. Well, then we don't have to buy it anymore. That's uh, pretty simple. A little bit unfortunate, but that uh, went pretty quick. What's on field eight? Oh, that's cotton. We can't do that. No. Okay, so we basically then continue with this month without doing anything at all i think yeah that's cotton <clears throat> we don't have any uh any of these crops available wheat nothing here uh, what's this okay field 15 has been seeded with wheat that's interesting that's nice so that could be a field that we're gonna buy in the future gen just before uh things are going to being harvested what uh, does this field cost uh just under 200,000 okay that's not too much that would be fine but we can't do much then in november except for uh, checking the prices uh let's have a quick look at that because we still have a decent amount of wheat and the wheat is doing 1330 at the moment that's the highest price so far uh it's still going up let's uh because I think we're going to sell it in December, maybe even January. We have not really anything to do at the moment. So let's uh, speed up uh, the time. Let's go around uh, yeah, 5 o'clock in the evening. Let's see how that uh, works out. 13.47, still going up. Okay, I think we, uh, we shovel into the next day. That might be a better thing. So we're probably gonna do a few quick runs here maybe even all the way up to well i'm not sure yet and i don't think no there's nothing that we can harvest in uh, what's the first interesting thing to have that's going to be june the wheat the barley and the oat so we might in May uh, buy this one. Not sure what's going to be planted in the other. There could be some oat fields maybe. In March that's going to be planted. Yeah, but there's still sunflowers, corn, soybeans. Well, there's nothing of that stuff. Yeah, the, the, the cotton. But there's nothing else that we have. So let's uh, rest until 8 o'clock next morning. We have to... Uh, I kept 10,000 back because we're paying 13.33. That's a little bit too much. There we go. Uh, the wheat is at 13.71. Okay, interesting. Is it still going up? That's the question. Oh yeah, the wheat is at 14.27 at the moment. So we want to raise this to 1,400 at least. Uh, you could have an extra something like that 32 this is 27 for now this can be way higher yeah that's good uh, 22 for the sorghum that's also let's go for 40 yeah uh, let's uh, hide the ones that I don't want. That seems to be fine. Oh, I didn't... Uh, ah. Let's go for 12... 1280. But then it drops back here. That's not what I really wanted. The oat. Yeah, let's go for 90. Uh, this one can be higher. Something like that. This is good. This still needs to be checked. This can be a little bit higher. Let's say... Yeah, 1845. Maybe 1840. That's okay. This could be somewhat higher, I think. Let's do something like this. Uh, this is 15. This still... 
okay look at that the straw is still going up uh, okay so we sold that way too early let's do this let's add another 10 at you and this is fine so this is how we are going to oh it's snowing okay uh, it seems that uh, the wheat is still going up and there isn't much else that we can do can we let's have a quick look at the fields what did they do they still didn't harvest the cotton okay that's interesting nothing on field 9 and 11 yet this is already being yeah oh the, it is harvested there's nothing uh, being seeded again let's let's keep an eye out for this one then we can see what's being put into the field this is our own field this is probably going to be the next field that we're going to buy because why would we uh, do all of that stuff when it isn't necessary so let's go to the next well not not yet let's uh, speed up uh, around five o'clock wheat 1432 prices are pretty high that's good uh, there we go we are at five o'clock almost let's have another look oh this is okay wheat is going down 1495 we probably want to sell the wheat then yeah i think that we might want to do that that's a pretty good price uh, we have to bring this up to 1450 minimum this also yeah that's better this one can add a little bit more something like that we could even go 10 higher here uh, this one is still decent I think this will do this one 20 oh no that's uh, yeah the corn 2190 okay that's a huge uh, increase look at that uh, let's go 40 difference 15 464 was the highest price 366 down here okay well we sold that definitely a little bit too quick i think we can live with this uh, we are going to uh call in the uh the train and sell our grain let's do that uh the map i want to jump to here Rent train is it uh, let me see where is that is that this one no oh here we were on top of it okay didn't see that let's see what do we have to do rent a train for a thousand an hour there we go a little bit of a shame that we couldn't get uh, that field with uh, what was it soybeans would have been nice uh, where is the train 4.1 kilometers away and I don't think that speeding up time will help us in this case so we have to I can try it does that help no I don't think so time is only going faster but the train doesn't go any faster I assume it's coming from that direction over there uh, let's have a look at the map maybe we can already see it no not yet too far away Uh, okay we need to be here to see it yes 3.3 kilometers okay that's two miles oh well the map isn't that big then unless it comes from this side but i think it's coming from this side so that gives us a, a little bit of an idea how big this map is i think it's two by two kilometers uh, to be honest that's three kilometers 2.9 and still no train so we probably have to wait until uh We can check at 2.5 maybe 2.4 that would be a little bit better see if the trains already there but I don't think so no no train yet like I said I assume it's uh, do I have a uh, switching to the train on I'm not sure 2.2 2.1 2 kilometers yeah 
with a little bit off, of course, to 1.9. Yeah, okay, this is, so I, I assume this is about 1.6 kilometer, maybe a mile, and this is quarter mile, something like that. Not quite sure. Let's see. I could be completely wrong that the train is coming from that direction, but I haven't seen it coming from that direction. Always came along from there and going in this direction. So we should be able to see it by now, I would think. But is it only one kilometer by one kilometer? That's uh, really short. Still no train? Okay, that's... How long is that map? Not really that big then. And uh, now it's coming in. It, I think it's coming from this direction. It must be. Otherwise we should have seen it here by now. I mean 700. Let's have a quick look if we can see anything at all in that direction. Is that the train? Yes, I think it is. Okay, that's the first. That the train comes from the other direction. That probably depends on where it exactly is. Yeah, it is the train. I didn't expect that, to be honest. Okay, uh, put on the brakes, please, because you need to slow down now. There you are. Uh, let's get in. Granted by you. Yeah, I know. I want to get in there. Uh, we need to have the second wagon, I think. I start the engine first, okay. Still 1496. It said it would go down. I think it was 5 uh, before this, but well, I'm not sure. It could be that this is the first one. Wait, why don't you pass an open cover? Oh, I need to select. Uh, there we go. Start filling. Wheat. Start. Well, the horn doesn't work. Or is it the zero? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, it is. What it was the O. I think... I'm not sure how much we'll get in there. Not everything, it seems, because 100,000 liters is around 40%. That's 250,000 liters then. So we need the second one also. That's okay. It's going to take a little bit of time, so we're going to pay a little bit of money for this. Two hundred to ten to twenty. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, it's two fifty, and then it's probably full. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Uh, we should open it. Oh, that's closing. Okay, let's uh, redo that. Am I not over it yet then? I don't get uh, the option to fill. Uh, I think I'm not far enough yet. I should be far enough. What's going on here? Do I need to stay at the number one? Is that the whole thing? Let's have a look. Boston, close cover. Two, four, six. Yeah, that's the amount of cards. It shows the other ones also. Oh, uh, I probably need to do this V. And yeah, I think that's going on. Okay, let's uh, do the Z. There we go, now we can start filling. That's it. Didn't uh, use the train enough in the past uh, in Farming Simulator, it seems. So, what we could do then is this one already closed the cover. 
Oh, that's boat close cover. That's odd. And okay, it's maybe a different letter for all of them. I think we have all the stuff uh, loaded now. Not mistaken. So two ninety one six five five. That should be everything. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, we had, and we are getting fourteen ninety six. That's a lot of money. There we go. Look at that, more than 400,000. Excellent. So that's been sold. That's a nice amount of money. And we can continue until there is something to do uh, on the farm. And that isn't much yet. So let's get some sleep. I think January is basically nothing. Uh, is there any wheat? Let's check that just to make sure. But I don't think we have wheat. No, it, no, we don't get wheat because we plowed it. That's I already said that before. In the future we probably will. But for now we are good to go. So let's get some sleep. And let's sleep until the next morning. That's going to be January. We can always check uh, what they planted. But I don't think they're going to plant much at the moment. That's going to be... Uh, we need to re get that... Did we the last time pick up the 10,000? I'm not even sure. Don't think we did. Let's have the financial look out. Uh, here we go. 10, 10. Uh, de December and January. I need to do 20,000 now. Otherwise... Uh, I'm going to get paid too much on my loan. There we go. Done. Uh, it's looking very nice. It's beautiful weather, though. Let's have a quick look uh, at the maps. Okay, that has been plowed. It seems that they're doing some plowing. There's some... Uh, not sure what's going on here. Starting to grow, maybe? Oh, that's wheat. Okay. Um, yeah, this is... Well, there's not much going on here, as you can see. So we... Uh, it up a little bit for now there we go and we are going to the next month we are going straight into february sleep yeah that's because we only had one field I uh, want to wait with uh, buying the other field until it's uh, almost ready to harvest. Add it 10,000 back. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit uh, winter. I'm not sure. No, nothing going on yet. So they could plant uh, cotton now, but. Yeah, okay, let's. Uh, Increase speed because we don't have anything on the farm either that we can uh, use. Great demands. Okay. Oh, that's uh, midnight already. And we already paid for the loan. Okay. We are in March. I could uh, manually. That's another 10,000 back. Let's uh, do it like this. 25,000 is pretty fast. Uh, there we go. We are uh, already. Let's go to 8 o'clock in the morning. Let's see. Still freezing. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. There is some new stuff planted here. What did they put in there? Oat. Okay. That could be interesting then for us. Field 1 or 2. Let's see. What do they cost? Uh, 730. And this one is 223. That could be an interesting field. Uh, the smaller one. Some oat. Some wheat. Barley, all the uh, the straw, yeah, that could help us uh, out really well. And when is the oat being harvested? Um, also in June, so we don't have that much. We have to buy the stuff in May. Hmm, interesting. I'm starting to like this. 
Uh, let's have a look if there... No, we don't need wheat. That's... I always wanted to look if there's wheat, but there isn't wheat this year. So let's uh, increase speed a little bit so that we're not further in. Now we can go back to sleep again. Yep, yep. Okay, I think 25,000 is faster than this, uh, to be honest. Uh, we have the loan again that we want to get back. Cotton is at a high price at the moment. Great demands. Let's get that 10,000 back uh, into our account. There we go. Let's uh, check. Make sure that I did it right. Yes, April. Anything else new uh, in the fields, maybe? I do see something over there. Yeah, okay. A lot of stuff is now being uh, planted or going to be planted. Let's see. What is this? Is that potatoes? No, it's sorghum. Yeah, okay. Interesting. That could also be. And what's number 14 then? Oh, wait. These are potatoes. No, we don't want the potatoes. That's not good. There's only one barley then. What is. Oh, they're both sorghum. 14, 15, uh, 14, 16. And we have wheat here. Okay. Uh, what is this? Corn? Yeah. Okay. And. That's carrots on these two. Okay. So this is parsnip, I think. Yep. What do we have on top here? Not quite sure. Nothing yet. Still to be needs to be sown. So interesting fields for us are then the, the bottom fields here, which we could buy at some point. Uh, let me see. 142, 194, and 147. Yeah, that's uh, let's say roughly 200, 350. 450, let's say just under half a million, these three fields here. Would be interesting to have. Definitely. And we need to buy them the next month, I think. Was I correct? Yeah, we have to buy them in May. And then we have to check if there needs to be something done when it comes down to, uh, to weeding and that stuff. But we, we're interested in wheat, barley, and oat. By then, canola, if there's any canola, it's going to be in June. And potatoes we don't want. Sorghum, okay, the sorghum field needs to wait a little bit longer until July. Yeah, we don't want to have that uh, before it. So let's go on to the next month. I think we only buy the wheat field then. Let's do it like that. And now we... Uh... There we go. And then the month after that, we can start harvesting again. Now we're doing fine. We are not. We don't have too many uh, costs. Maintenance is a little bit, but except here, yeah, only three hundred properties, so that's not uh, not too bad. Let me get that money back here. I wish there was a possibility to change the interest rate, uh, but they skipped it somehow in this. Uh, in this uh, version of farming simulator previous ones in 19 and 17 you could set uh, your own uh, interest rates but that's no longer possible unfortunately so let's have a look at our uh, oh we have another one down well you can stay there don't need you yeah that's looking good uh, could we head over to the other field is that we'll probably pick up the truck and see how stuff is uh, going there let's uh, visit those fields for now that might be not a bad idea now there were two sorghum fields so we don't want to buy those yet that's going to be a little bit longer now, i think that at some point we might need our own uh, 
our own silo to, to store stuff. We don't have anything yet. We did it uh, at the train station, but that can only hold uh, 500,000 liters. After that, it's uh, no longer accepting anything. So it's the... Okay, we have a small ditch here, so we need to go to exactly where. Okay, that's a pretty far right in that direction. Oops, I think that was, yeah, a road sign. But let's have a look how this uh, is looking when it comes down to yields. There we go. So this should be sorghum. Yeah. Needs weeder. Okay. And you? Expected yield. Yeah, wheat growing. So I assume that it needs some fertilizer. That might be the case. But I think we're going to buy this one. And then we can see what's going on with the field exactly. So let's do that. Here we go. That's this field. Yeah, it's almost finished. We can see on the dark color. And this still hasn't anything in there. I'm not sure what they want to do. This is only uh, just under 200,000. So let's uh, buy. There we go. Then we need to buy the, uh, the field info. 9,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Okay, there we go. Uh, what do we have? I think it's all loam again. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the whole field, uh, the whole map is only loam. Could be. Uh, yeah, let's uh, have a look now. Okay, the pH value is pretty low and the nitrogen is very bad. We need to fertilize this and we need to put some, uh, some lime on this. Let's do that. So we are busy today, that's for sure. And hopefully we can get our... Uh, I'll crop up a little bit. Oh, you aren't gonna go fast. Oh, that's the because you are. Oh no, uh, backwards is maximum ten. It seems okay. Well, new one. So lime and yeah, we need uh, a fertilizer. We could use our own fertilizer still. That's not an issue. We have it, we basically use it for lime, but we can also use it for fertilizer, that's not a problem. So we're gonna make some trips, uh, I think. But that's okay. At least, uh, I think that field is a little bit smaller, we could have a, a check. Uh, because I wouldn't be surprised if the yield of this field that we have here on our left was also around 60% because the lack of certain nutrition in the in the soil. And now we have uh, taken care of that. Uh, let's bring you around here. So I think the best case at the moment is to put some uh, fertilizer on it that would be so I need to get rid of the the lime we can do that afterwards hopefully that will uh, increase our forward there we go we still have uh, almost 7000 liters lime in here so I'm gonna put that on the grass here unload it there we go that's pretty far away okay that's fine let's open you i'm coming in from the other side otherwise uh, it wants to fill up the the fuel tank of the the truck and the truck the fuel tank of the tractor instead of filling this one we need now fertilizer there we go and then we should be good to go and hopefully get a nice uh, nice amount of it it's gonna take a while before uh, this is done but i'm not gonna make a cut in here yet 
So let me check the, the size of that field. Uh, it's field 15, that's 10 hectares. Field 10 is 18 hectares. Okay, so if I do my calculations right, this was almost 300,000. So this should be at the moment around uh, just 60%, I think, 55. So we should get around 160,000 liters out of this. And if we can crank it up, we probably could go even way higher and maybe get over 200,000. That should be possible, I think. But we'll have to see. Now, since there's no hurry, we can do it ourselves. Don't need to hire someone. Uh, let's see, what's the quickest route uh, to there? Probably going straight to the right here and then all the way down alongside uh, between field 9 and 8. Yeah, that might be the best uh, course. Now, I think I might make a little cut in there, uh, to be honest, because that's a decent right. So I guess I'll see you when we are at the field. Okay, we're getting close now. And uh, let's see how much we need to apply. A little bit further, that might be better. Otherwise, well, the train does stop here, I think, but... Sometimes in real life it also happens and then the train doesn't stop, at least not in time. Uh, so let me see the width. Detect the width, that's uh, 30 meters, that's good, okay. Let's uh, line you up. Probably need to go through the field here a little bit. That's somewhat unfortunate, but I need to get the right spot here. Let's see, will this work out? Well. You would almost think that I knew that it was exactly there. So let's uh, go. Oh wait, let's uh, first turn on the crop sensor. Yeah, Alt left shift B, there we go. That should be fine now. There we go. Yeah, we're applying a lot of fertilizer now. Look at that. So we probably don't have enough with one. Although it's almost uh, 19,000 liters that we have. So we should be reasonably fine. But it's definitely not a really small field, 10 hectares. Although it's one of the smallest fields uh, in here, usually on maps, if you have a field of 10 hectares, it's a pretty, pr uh, pretty big field, but not here. Now we can check later on if that's uh, really helping uh, out. Probably when we're at the end, we could see the difference. And I assume that if we put some lime on it today, that also would uh, still help. In real life not, of course, because it's way too late. I mean, the, the plant can't get all the nutrition out of the soil anymore. It, it, you need to do this earlier in the year, like say in March or in April, when, this, when the plant starts to grow. But, well, at least in the game it still helps. And if it doesn't, then it's for the next time, it's fine. But I think we're still uh, okay -ish. Yeah, I think we should have plenty of, uh, of fertilizer in our uh, spreader. Should be able to uh, do all uh, of it. And then we have, after the other side here, we have another sorghum field. So I do really like to get those fields. A little bit of, uh, of bush here, not sure. Maybe we can at some point... Uh, so let's have a quick look how that uh, is now. Yeah, look at that. That's already up to 118 and 125. That's definitely a good thing to do. Definitely. That will uh, almost 
I think almost double our yield, isn't it? Let's look here. Oh, expected yield, 85% is here. And uh, the yield potential is 125. So we're getting way... If we put in some lime, I think we're getting close to the yield potential. That should be... Uh, I think on the other side it was even worse than it is here. So let's... Uh, you need to go over there, okay. Do I need to turn the crop sensor on again? No, it's still on, okay. There's the train coming, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It has 10... Uh, Cards, but they don't show all up on top but they are selecting them I saw it I thought first thought that they would also select those uh, those wagons with the tubes on it but that doesn't seem to be the case it shows six in the top we now have one behind our tractor but if you have the train you get six and there are ten so when you press the button G to go to the next one it does do it I've noticed that but So this is all about being spreading and fertilizing and liming and all that kind of stuff. We are how far in? Let me see. 36 minutes. Yeah, probably going to make... Uh, going to make uh, a cut so that in the end we can pick it up back and then do some uh, lime also to check uh, what the situation is then. But it's a lot of uh, fertilizer going on here. Uh, it seems that weeds like barley uh, or grains like wheat and barley and oat needs a lot of fertilizer. If you can compare that to soybeans, soybeans don't need fertilizer. In fact, soybeans are fertilizing the, the ground themselves. So, yeah. In the future we might do something with uh, manure if we have the cows. I'm not quite sure yet. If that's something we really want to do, maybe we could simply sell the manure. That's also a possibility. So, let's see. So, I'm going to continue with this. Uh, then probably we'll be back with you when we have some lime in the spreader and put some lime on here and see how that works out so see you in a moment okay I filled uh, everything with lime I need to uh, set the width again 18 meters now that's good so we start on this side here let's, uh, let's see something like this might be too much but Need to be a little bit further in. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, let's uh, line you up a little bit better. You do it. Crop sensor is still on. There we go. Yeah, we're still applying a little bit of uh, of lime here. That's good. And then we can check what uh, the yield is at the end. Let's see how that uh, works out. But I think we should uh, basically double our yield. Roughly. It's not that much uh, being spread on but still it's a decent amount 0.75 on, on our own field over there we had more than one so it could be that there was applied some uh, some stuff but I'm not sure 0.875 okay so that's uh, still looking good I think I need about three Full trailers of uh, of lime, not 100% sure, but uh, 
Uh, thinking about this one, seeding might be a problem in the future with the big one we have. Could be okay, but I'm a little bit worried about those trees there. Maybe, I'm not sure if they are on my property or on the field that's after here. Have to have a look at that. Maybe we could uh, get rid of them. Now here it's fine, but that patch over there, that might be uh, a little bit of an issue. There we go, let's have a quick look how are we looking now. Yeah, 123 out of 125, that looks better. And here we had 118, so we get another 5% extra. That's good. Excellent. Oh, I need to find... Oh, there it is. just want to say need to find the... Uh, GPS again. There we go. Oh, there's only 0.625. That's even uh, less. That's good. The less we need, the longer we can go on with uh, one load of uh, 0.5. Look at that. With one load of lime. Let's have a look at uh, the fields. Uh, this it's this patch here. What who's it's partly ours, not all of it. Okay, the rest, uh, at least I think it is. Let's see this farmlet. Yeah, it's partially ours, and the rest uh, is from here. When we have it all, we could simply uh, get rid of it and make it one big field. And may yeah, here's a road in between, so that's a little bit uh, difficult. What's this? Not sure. We could uh, extend this field, though, in the future. I'm not sure if there's a, a building on there, but if it's our property, we probably can... Is it a water tower? Yeah, probably is. So we can't uh, do anything with the water tower. That's a little bit of a shame. But still, we could go up a little bit closer to the water tower. Maybe even do something like this. I could try to delete it. Sell it. I mean, if it's on my property, it's my th my thing, isn't it? We'll see what we can do. City won't be happy with it, I guess. But I can't have it all. We'll see what we can do. Always hide the object also. I think I have uh, that mod installed. Object hider. Yeah, we're already halfway through our first uh, batch of... Uh, we're almost halfway through. So I can go four times. Well, maybe four times up and down. So maybe two full loads, loads would be enough. We'll see. Depends a little bit on how much we have to apply. Now we are applying again. Okay, there we go down again. 0.75. You almost would think that there are... Uh, different values here but that's nitrogen yield yield is still low the yield should be way up now uh, next time uh this one oh yeah there is different types okay look at that we some points we have this color 6.25 or even this one i'm not one of no this most of it is we have some of this here i can see that and probably this is that one so this is 625 here and we're bringing it up to 7 and this one's already a little bit down because the plants have been growing that's uh, that's fine oh no the optimal volume is uh, 6.75 so basically there is around 6 on the field and 6 is yeah, we have now less, don't we? Yeah, 0.5. So 625, that's this one. Okay. And this is 6. This then 575. And we're going up to this one. 
sometimes I'll have a little bit difficulty to see if it's exactly the same. If I set it just besides it, I can see it, but from a distance, I'll be struggling a little bit. Is it this one? I'm not sure. Yes, it is. Okay. There we go again. So I'm going to continue this field. I think that's the best course of action. And see you when we are back at the farm and everything is done. So until then. Okay, we are done with uh, the lime spreading. And I was looking for placing a silo. And maybe get rid of this building here. Because they are available in in here look at that this these are the the ones and this one that's this it's a different color but it's still there so probably can can change the color or something but the fact is this seems to have a little workshop also we placed our uh, our workshop over there this one has a workshop also didn't notice that but that's okay just uh, here on the right Let's get in there. As you can see there, that uh, wrench, that's the place to repair some stuff. But let's get this out, uh, remove this and see if we can get ourselves a nice, uh, nice silo going on. I have an idea what I want to place, but we need a little bit more room. Otherwise I need to go into the bush there and that's not really what I want to do. So we can add more of these uh, buildings also. That's uh, very nice to know. So let's have a quick look. Uh, let's do this. So this one needs to go. It's going to give us 180,000. So let's sell it. Yep. There we go. And now we have some room to get the nice big silo in. Uh, let me see. I want to have this one with three of them. And now we can place it like this so that we can easily... Let's uh, clear this out a little bit. That might be a better thing. It's looking a little bit uh, nasty. Uh, we had gravel here. I think it was this one. So let's uh, increase you. Probably change the form. Yeah, let's uh, clear this out. That would be fine. Uh, this can go maybe something like that. Maybe this a little bit bigger like this. There we go. So we have the room to uh, not you. Silos. This one. Yeah, that we have the room to get into there and also would we maybe down here that's probably the best spot then we could go around it but we can also easily load and unload our trucks could go a little bit further to the right here yeah that's a good spot it's 500,000 6 million liters so we should be okay with this one and still we have a lot of money I don't think we need a lot of shed room we could place another shed down here if we wanted to probably the same as this one I'm not sure if I can change the color of this no, I can't do anything with it, it seems. This seems to be green, but this is way different. Hmm. Interesting. Now, there are cheaper sheds. This seems to be the same as this one here. So, we have something with uh, solar panels. This is the one we already have. That's one over here. Yeah, no. Yes, it is. So that's basically... Uh, this one could be interesting. But it's another 300,000. That's a lot of money. I uh, could do something like... Well, this... Something like that going into here. But then we're blocking our... 
our stuff. Yeah, that's not good. This could be, but then it's going to be a little bit difficult to get out of there. So maybe we need to redo at some point this stuff. Maybe placing this one a little bit further in this direction. Or picking up more of these. That would also be, but this is not very deep. How are you? You're a little bit deeper, I think. Uh, it's hard to tell, like this. Mm, not sure. This one has a little bit more room. Okay. I'm leaning towards something like this. That's pretty deep, although not wide enough to park our stuff. This could be a nice one for our, uh, our cedar. Yeah. I have to think about this. This would, yeah, this would also fit with some solar panels. Oh, basically these are the same. Look at that. It's only a different color, I think. Yeah. Okay. So they adapted it a little bit, but these are the same sheds as these here. But these come with the mod. Hmm. Have to think about it. I'm not quite sure yet how we're going to. Uh, to do that but i'm happy now that we have this one over here that's uh, important so i'm gonna leave it at this i'd like to thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and hopefully until the next time bye for now